This video tutorial I will explain using Java how to write a simple producer code which will send messages to the Kafka server which is deployed in Amazon EC2 instance. Here you can see Apache Kafka architecture. Here you can see the producer which will send messages to Kafka topic. And here you can see the consumer which will consume messages from Kafka topic. We will see how to write this uh, producer code to send messages to Kafka topic. To create a Kafka producer in Java, we have to follow four steps. First, we have to create uh, producer properties. Then we have to create a producer. Then we have to create a producer record. Then we can send the data. We will see how to do that. Here you can see Amazon AWS console. And here you can see Amazon EC2 instance is running. Copy this IPv4 address. Open Putty software. And log into Amazon EC2 instance. And we have successfully logged in. Then open Windows CP. And log into Amazon EC2 instance. And we have successfully logged in. To access Kafka server publicly and send messages from a producer which is outside of EC2 instance, we have to do some changes. What we have to do is, we have to open server.properties file and listeners, we have to add like this. And the port number, by default it is using 9092, instead I have given 8082. And one more property called advertised listeners, in that we have to provide plain text colon, then the host name, then port number, port number is 8082. And then uh, we have to open uh, security group of uh, Amazon EC2 instance and uh, we have to enable uh, 8082 so that uh, this port can be accessed publicly. We will see how to do that. Open uh, server.properties file. And here we have to provide the host name. And here you can see the host name. Copy this. Save the changes. Close it. Then uh, click on security. Click on this uh, security group. Click on uh, edit inbound rules. Click on add rule. Eight zero eight two. Click on anywhere IPv four. Save the changes. And here you can see the changes has been saved.
next I am going to start the zookeeper server using this command. Zookeeper has been started. Next I am going to start the Kafka server using this command and uh, Kafka server has been started and uh, it is using 8082 port. Next I am going to create animal topic for that I am going to use this command. Copy this uh, host name and uh, give the proper host name. And here you can see animal topic has been created. Next we will start the consumer which will listen on animal topic. Copy this command. And we have started the consumer which is listening on animal topic. Here you can see Kafka producer demo project. And here you can see Kafka producer demo java file and here you can see the pom.xml file and here I have included the dependencies of Kafka clients and SL4j. Here I have defined the class Kafka producer demo and inside main method I am creating Kafka producer properties. Here I have created a properties object and in that I am setting bootstrap server config which is nothing but Kafka server host name and port number. We have to make sure this host name is equivalent to this one. Then I am setting a key serializer class config and value serializer class config. Then I am creating a producer object using a Kafka producer constructor and in Kafka producer constructor I am passing the properties object. Here I am calling a get animal list method and this method will return list of animals. Here I got animal list using for each loop I am getting each animal name and sending to Kafka topic. Here I am creating a producer record and in producer record constructor I am passing a topic name and animal name. Topic name is nothing but animal topic and once producer record is created using a send method of producer object I am sending animal name to the Kafka topic. Then uh, I am printing this information. Then uh, before sending next record, I have put the sleep for uh, 4000 milliseconds. And uh, in finally block, I am calling a flush method of uh, producer and uh, close method of uh, producer. left side uh, the producer java code is there and uh, right side uh, the consumer is running. Now I am going to run this uh, java program. And uh, here you can see the producer is uh, sending message and uh, immediately the consumer is uh, consuming the animal names. 
dog, lion, tiger, snake and cat. And whatever messages are sent from producer that has been consumed by the consumer. In the example we have seen, we have used three producer properties, bootstrap servers, key serializer and value serializer. To create a Kafka producer, we need to create the object of Kafka producer. And in order to send data to Kafka, we need to create a producer record and in producer record constructor, we have to specify the topic name and the message value. And in this case, key is assumed to be null. And using send method of producer object, we can send data to the Kafka. The data produced by producer is asynchronous. Therefore, we need two additional methods which are flush and close. These methods are required to ensure the producer is shut down after the message is sent to the Kafka. The flush method will force all the data that was in send method to be produced and the close method stops the producer. If these methods are not executed, the data will be never sent to the Kafka because main Java thread will exit before data are flushed. You can get uh, Java source code link for uh, each video from the description section of the video. And uh, here you can see the video. And uh, to see the description, click on this uh, more. And uh, here you can see the description. And uh, here you can see the links. And uh, click on these links to get the Java source code.